Hi, this is Ron Felton from Home Inspection Services in Stockton, California, and we're just doing a little bit of home maintenance tips for you here today in the bathroom, and you caught me in the tub. And uh, we just want to show you some basic areas around your bathroom that have some maintenance issues and easy upkeep, but an area where if you don't keep it up, it could cost you hundreds and sometimes thousands of dollars in bathroom repairs. So we're going to talk basically about the seal around your uh, tub between the tile or if you have a, a shower stall between the tile and the tub. Um, areas in the corners where have a tendency to crack and also uh, sealing around downspouts and your faucet to make sure that water is not getting back behind the wall because obviously if it did then you would never know it and it would just uh, be uh, prolonged maintenance issues and eventually you would have some sort of dry, dry rot problem. So um, why don't you come a little closer and we'll take a look here. One of the first areas that we're talking about is just the seal right around the edge of the tub. Now, if this is not maintained well, what will happen is water will get behind there and eventually it will make its way back around the edge of the tub and it will actually creep down along the edge of the tub. And out of all the areas that I uh, find dry rot the most in the bathroom, uh, one of them being the toilet, but the second being uh, the area right along here, it eventually works its way down along the floor. And these, these corners on both sides of the tub are generally uh, rotten when you tear apart a bathroom. And there's some uh, ways to keep that sealed up. Number one, when you have grout right along the edge of the tub, what happens is the, the grout has a tendency to crack because the tub's flexing. And as you can see here, the tub is flexing. It's moving away from the grout. The grout is cracked. And what this needs to be done it needs to be dried. It needs to be re-grouted. And after the grout's dry, it needs to have a thin layer of silicone, clear silicone, uh, smeared along there. And what we'll, that will do is the, the silicone will act like a rubber seal and it will keep the grout from cracking, but also obviously keep the water from getting behind there as well. Um, this is obviously not finished. You need to have trim along here. And when you have trim along here, uh, then this needs to be sealed well along the edge of this and also all the way around the edge of the tub and all the way around the edge of the tile it needs to be sealed well. Grout needs to be maintained and sealed with a, a, a standard grout sealer. But one area that's really important as well is the corners. When you have two corners that meet together, they flex and grout never seems to last in here. And if you come a little closer and get closer with the camera, what you'll see is in the corner you'll actually see areas where the grout is already starting to crack. And this is a fairly new shower. And what we need to do is we need to come back along here and just seal these corners with some silicone. Um, even when they're brand new, they don't last for very long before the corners start to crack. And another area that seems to be a little bit of an issue is around the spout. Now, if this spout was taken off, then uh, what you would probably find behind here, if it was done properly, would be the hole itself where the pipe is coming out would be filled with a silicone or a caulking of some sort that would not allow the water to get back inside of the wall. And if that's the case, that's perfect. We don't need to put a seal around the outside of the spout. If we were to seal around the outside of the spout, one thing we would not want to do is make sure that we seal the very bottom. We want to leave that open. In case water did leak inside of there, it's not being forced back inside of the wall, but it is, in fact, dripping back out onto the shower where we can see it. Um, recently, I went to a resident and the gasket that seals this to the pipe uh, was a, a 30 cent o-ring and that o-ring had failed and the client had sealed it around the spout because they did not want water spewing out of the back of the spout and they thought that would be a reasonable fix but instead what it was doing was, was forcing the water back into the wall and by the time that I was called out to the residence water was spewing out the other side of the wall and obviously flooding underneath the tub as well. It was on a concrete uh, slab, so it wasn't such a potential for dry rot. But this is on a raised foundation. This home, and there's wood under there, and when water gets under there, it spreads out very quickly. Another area, uh, this, this particular faucet has a foam gasket behind it, but we need to make sure that this area is maintained well, and if the foam gasket were to fail, we need to make sure that we seal around here. Uh, the handle can easily be taken off, this can be unscrewed and the cover can be taken off and with a flashlight we can visually inspect these areas. Even a, even a homeowner with some basic knowledge and a Google connection or of course you can go to my website and email me and you can find those tips anytime you want and uh, make sure that area is sealed as well. Another area is right here. Now if we peel this back most likely what we're going to find is this, this is actually sealed and it, it's not sealed as well as it could be um, but we would want to make sure that this hole is filled with some type of caulking 
or something to prevent water from getting in there. And obviously the shower is not used in this area very much, so it doesn't have the potential. The higher you get, the less potential there is for water problems. One more area that we can discuss just real quickly, and then I'm going to let you go for today, is the area around and behind your toilet. Um, if you ever, for some reason, find that there's staining around the edge of your toilet, you can come down a little closer here and look. And This is an area you don't really get down too much to look behind. But an easy way to check for leaks is just to feel. And if you, if you feel the lower parts of the, the valve and the, and the line, and you feel any kind of water at all, then you know that you have a potential for a leak there. And also down around the base of the toilet, we want to check and make sure that we don't see any staining or find any water. And again, if you find any water around these areas or back in the corner of the tub, we've got to really make sure those areas get sealed up well. You find uh, water around the base of the toilet, that's likely that the toilet is loose and that the wax ring has failed. And if the wax ring fails on the toilet, you're really in for a lot of damage. So we really want to make sure your toilets are sound, they're not loose, and that uh, the wax ring gets uh, resealed if that's the case. It needs to be pulled up. Very, very easy project. Pull the toilet up, replace the wax ring, resecure it, and save yourself a bunch of money down the road. And uh, thanks for hanging out with us, and we'll uh, be back again in another day or two to show you a couple more tips. Have a good day.